Connectome Explorer is an application for query-guided visual analysis of large volumetric neuroscience data. It allows the visual exploration and analysis of segmented neural structures and their connectivity. Here you can see a volume rendering of a 1 terabyte EM dataset that is being clipped from the top to reveal the voxel segmentation data. While zooming in, you can notice individually labeled synapses rendered as small blue spheres. The user can interactively select individual structures which are automatically highlighted in all linked views. On the left you can see a segmentation tree view that allows to individually enable or disable segmented objects. Additionally, we have a list of all synapses that is also directly linked to the other views. On the right you can see a graph view that depicts the connectivity of different structures in our system. The larger nodes correspond to dendrites and the smaller nodes to axons. The color coding indicates if a structure is inhibitory or excitatory. The connections between nodes are synapses. After selecting a specific dendrite and its connected axons, they are automatically highlighted in the linked views as well. Next, we demonstrate how Connectome Explorer can be used to dynamically specify knowledge-based queries that help in the analysis of the data. The user starts an analysis session by picking the dendrite the user is interested in. This serves as input for the visual query designer. All queries are evaluated dynamically during runtime and the resulting set can be directly displayed in all linked views. The visual query designer is dynamically adapted based on the current selection or chosen predicate. First, the user chooses a predicate or operator, for example the isConnected operator. Next, the user can define the input sets that are used to create the query. In this case, the pick dendrite, the set of all axons, and the set of all synapses. The resulting set is shown in all linked views, showing the thick red dendrite and the narrow axons. The user can look at the resulting set in more detail in the set inspector. The set inspector allows to focus on individual entries of the resulting set and to look at their specific properties. This allows the user to quickly find interesting candidates for further inspection. In the next step, the user computes some statistics by counting the number of synapses each axon has. For this we can use the group by operator, which effectively allows us to create a set of sets. Our system supports different kinds of statistics operators, such as count, average and standard deviation. Before evaluating a query, the user can either name the new set manually or use the automatically generated name. When looking at the resulting set, the user can sort the axons based on the number of synapses they make. Additionally, the result of the query can be displayed in a histogram. This allows the user to quickly find multiple hit axons that have more than one synapse to a specific dendrite. Next, the user applies a cylindrical region of interest to further narrow down and focus on individual structures. In this case, the cylindrical region corresponds to a densely segmented subpart of the entire dataset. The region of interest computation, like all other computations, is then completely dynamic and evaluated during runtime. The user can again look at all the individual objects inside the set. The objective in this user session is to analyze multiple hit axons in order to find out if they always make synapses to the same dendrite sequentially or not. Therefore, the user chooses to focus on a specific axon. The user can look at all the axon synapses and the dendrites these synapses connect to. Next, the user creates a new query to filter out everything except axon number 107 and its connected dendrites. The graph view on the right shows that this axon is connected to only three dendrites. By using a zoomed-in 3D view, the user can now look at all synapses that are made to the red dendrite to find out if these synapses occur sequentially or if the axon connects to other dendrites in between. In this case, it can be seen that the axon connects to the green dendrite in between, which led our collaborators to change their hypothesis about how these connections are created. To compute a dynamic region of interest, we employ a multi-resolution culling structure to quickly evaluate which data blocks and objects are inside the region. Green blocks are completely inside and yellow blocks intersect the region and have to be examined in more detail.